What a timeline we are in indeed. Edmonton winning the lottery, jumping up from four to one, everyone else uh, into four, getting pushed back by one. That's the only lottery movement. You see Chicago has a couple picks in that top 16. So they actually ended up missing the playoffs when we took Korchinski. Interesting. So that is, yeah, that's a bit curious. Um, obviously, we're not up there. We had, well, the best playoff run that we've had so far. And I think a lot had to do with it with that veteran presence. And I think transition on a third line to more of a checking line, really kind of going all in with on that top six. So we're going to kind of start retooling the team here. In this video, I think at this draft, uh, focus more on you know the drafting part of it. But there's some things that we could do right now to start retooling. So uh, Sagan retiring. Okay, at age 39, Zabanejad, Skinner. Let's just see how these top ones, if they're March on the Sharks, is gross. Trocheck. Okay, yeah, they're all pretty much done. Couturier also on the Sharks. Uh, Granlin. Okay, Raquel Monahan, Seth Jones. He was. Yeah, Coyle, Dano, Brian Hartman, Anthony Mantha. Look at who's retiring. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Darnell Nurse, so they get out from under that contract. Although, I'm trying to remember when he's actually getting off that contract in real life, is it? Isn't it? It's, yeah, it could be. So, if they save like a year or two, <laughs> that's still great. So, okay. Rasmus versus the Linen. Jeez. That's where we're at. Good gracious. Okay. Goaltenders. Gibson, Talbot, Grubauer, Lindgren. And then, yeah. Okay. Not too many goalies, but... All right, we didn't have any coach retirements. That's nice. Don't have to worry about that. Uh, draft interviews. I'll take a look at it. I don't know if I'll even be using any interviews here. Um, we had to go... <laughs> See? Who needs the scout, man? <laughs> Who needs to manually scout? Look what our artist scout did. Found a winger playmaker, 19 two year ETA. Left defensive DFD, two year ETA. I know he's 19, but holy crap, these are two we're not missing out on. Goaltender way back here, who's a gem. Probably going to be a steal. Is probably going to be a medium elite. I'd be. Mm, I don't know. We'll see. But that's a pretty damn good start. Yep. Auto scout kicked some ass here. You could also pin this guy, but you'd be kind of running out of. Oh, three or ETA? What the hell? What a crazy weird draft right now. Okay, um, so that one guy was at 40 something. Let's see if there's any other unknowns here that I might want to interview just to see if we can get our hands on any more. Low well, elites. 33 is kind of a weird spot, and it's doubtful that they actually that a low elite would appear there. Because that's usually in the top nine ish range, but that's the only thing I'd really interview by this point. Oh my god, yeah, look at that. Look at that transition. Hmm. Um. Whatever, let's just see. This is probably going to be the only interview I do. I don't know anything else that I'd really care about. Let's just see if Jared Coletta is anything here. Oh my god, it's doing that thing where I have to scroll by myself. Eh... Playmaker three year. I mean, those are all good. Sometimes those uh, top nine, top sixes have like four year ETA, even at that range. But I don't, I'm not too sure. I still feel like this won't be a low. We'll see though. It could actually be that. So what are we gonna be able to get our hands on? Passionate playmaker three year ETA. Nah, he's medium. Like, he, could, he, he actually is looking more like top six by what's going around here. Where the hell are those top nines, then? My goodness, so they're just... There, okay, wow, so they... Is there no first-round top nines? That really indicates to me this is going to be a weird and good draft. Again, not that we really need amazing things, but uh, it's all trade value. At this point, even though we don't even really need that at this stage. <laughs> All right. I'm kind of wondering if Stuckle's going to be elite. Eh, probably not. Just because there's a high top six here. Usually the high top sixes will be in between two elites. That's the only reason I'm thinking that, but I just don't care enough. We're not going to draft up there anyway, obviously. So I'm not going to interview that guy. Columbus ended up winning the cup. So we didn't even lose to the eventual winners. 
Unfortunate. Yeah, Colorado versus Columbus. Individual awards. Leo Carlson got the Art Ross. The Hart went to Matthews. Makar got the Norris. Leo Carlson got the Lady Bing. Saul Malinen with the Calder. Line got the Conn Smythe. Yeah, Lukanen with the Vesna. Uh, William M. Jennings with the Ottinger and Stolars. Okay. Reasoner, whoever the hell that is, with the Masterton. On the Sens, so they still suck. <laughs> Jack Adams with the uh, Penguins coach. McDavid got the Selkie. Nice. Uh, Ted Lindsay to Matthews and Jakob Dubiel once again with the Maurice Richard. He's, it's just going to be his trophy, I think. It's pretty much going to be his trophy. And our guys get one year older, but they get one more year of experience. And we went into the conference finals. And we kind of have a, a bit more of a roadmap now, I think. So, okay. Let's get into the draft here. And really before... We do too much. I think we can maybe make some trades here. Stuff that we know that we want to commit to. And it's mainly going to take like... I don't know. Maybe we can't. I mean, we can't. Obviously, we can We can always trade. But it's like, eh, do I really know? Things that I... So... Uh, hmm. Yeah. I don't know yet. We're going to check, take a look at the picks we have. I think we might have one extra. Ten. Yeah, we do. We have ten picks. We're only allowed to draft one nine. But we have three in the first round. So we have to trade at least one of these picks away. And that's all right. But we are going to commit to a goaltender now. I think it may cost a bit more. But, uh, I think we gotta go with lunch. I do. It sucks. Like, that's the thing. They got injured. <laughs> like, Becky got injured in the playoffs, so, like, ugh. And then Everett Scott, like, didn't do great, though. That's the thing. Like, 902. Hilariously, the exact same save percentage as the season and the same amount of games played. But yeah, you can see, like, he's just not getting enough ice time. Like, we gotta move him. We don't have to do it right here. I would... I don't know. I'd kind of like to... Yeah, I, I wanted to kind of start the retool here. But it's not, like, super, super necessary, I guess. Get out of here. Something's popping up on my computer. Um, Yeah, like, I, why trade here? Like, I can't even use, like, player search or anything like that. I It might come to it if we're, like, trading to, like, move up. But, like, even then, there's... Nah, we're not going to need it, any of the value that's coming from those guys. So, I guess we'll kind of start that in the next video here. But we're going to collect a ton of trade value right here. So, let's just go up to our pick. Um, The guys we're targeting, no one's below 30. So we'll just go all the way to our pick. We'll look back at what went. <clears throat> Excuse me, what went. Okay, there's... Okay, that's okay. That's where they went. So they actually went right there. Those top nine, top sixes in the first round. There's an overall jump at 13. Is that the only one? Interesting. Oh, he was, he was elite. I was correct, yeah. <clears throat> God damn it. What the hell's wrong with my throat? Yeah, so that, that guy was an elite. I was correct. So there's actually yeah, still five elites and then with a... High six in there, but Jesus, though. Ooh. Huh. Those overalls suck. Okay. Interesting. All right, we're going to call a few timeouts here. And pull up the member sheet. Sorry, I was just doing that at the same time. All right, call those timeouts, and we'll take a look around at the members. Uh-oh, let's hope they're not on the block or haven't been traded. No, we got Mr. Vince here, 82-25, so not completely done growing, but it's kind of at that end. Yeah, he's just become a role player, which is a bit unfortunate for him. Yeah. But, oh no, sorry, yeah, he's a DFD, my bad. No, he's, yeah, he's right in there, sorry. For some reason, I thought he was a... <laughs> Ooh, look at that, he's getting paid, though. Not too bad of a contract. 
Oh, he is 82. Yeah, no, that's that's a pretty damn good contract. He could actually, yeah, we'll have to see exactly where they're playing him. And they got rid of Justin, didn't they? Did I pass him? No, no, yeah, yeah okay, he's here. 81 at 24, 23 points in his NHL debut, not bad. And yeah, he's playing in a pretty, yeah, he played fourth line penalty kill. Like, he should be on the third line. If he gets that time, like, he's going to do much better, obviously. But, yeah. But, yeah, definitely those two guys are more role players than anything else. Uh, Baker, however, is the guy. Yeah, they got rid of Levi, and Baker's the guy. Not the greatest numbers, but I don't think they were a very good team. No, definitely not with that record. But, hey, he had above 900 with a sub-500 record. That's not horrible. Yeah, they committed to him. Oh, God, please have an extent. Oh, my God, he's not extent. Don't tell me they're just going to lose him. There's no way they should, right? Like, he has... I don't know. They don't have much cap space, at least right now. Of course, on the Blackhawks, there is Wasabi. Who didn't have that great. He only had 53 points. Huh. Only had 53 points. They... Did they make... No, they didn't make the playoffs. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, of course. Yeah, we just talked about that. Didn't make the playoffs. Of course, he's still incredible, but yeah, wow. Was Korczynski holding that thing together? At least we made the Blackhawks suck. That's always cool. <laughs> yeah, he's still insane build. And that's pretty much going to be the end of it. It'll be stack growth moving up and down from now on out, I think. He might even have some stack growth. But I think he may have lost a bit after that season. All right, moving on here to Minnesota, where Vlog City is. Yet another guy who only turned out to be more of a role player, 82, 25. Seriously, I think everyone's capping out around there. Another solid season, though. Uh, made the playoffs, got swept. Oh, yeah, we swept them. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Um, it's a fine build, but, yeah, it's a bit unfortunate. He is playing third line and supposedly getting some power play. All right. Okay. All right, Montreal is where Ice Pop is at. 87-25, looking great. 24, again, not a big production guy, but he's kind of figuring it out defensively, as you can see. Oops, hold on. I wanted to check. They, yeah, they, ugh, they still, how they have not made the playoffs is a mystery to me. Yeah, it's just, I think it's his passing. His awareness is great, but he just doesn't have the passing to kind of balance it out and, and get, get the points. He's not really the puck mover. But he's fast, dude. He's hella fast. Solid defensively. He's moderately aggressive with good discipline. Like he, he's a solid shutdown type guy, who you know has good has a good mind. He just <laughs> that's that's where it stops. Uh, can't move the puck. Okay. Um. Where is he? Don't even tell me. Okay. No good. They didn't get rid of Scary Carry. But yeah, he's capping out. As a so it didn't even matter that he was a high top six enforcer. He's just like, no, I'm just gonna be 80 overall, I guess. That kind of sucks. It's really weird. This 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 franchise has been really weird for the uh, for the members. It's yeah, like it's very much feast or famine. There's none of those like solid middle six guys. It's just bottom six or you're in you're you know in that top line. Goalies actually have a good spread at least. All right, um, Senators now, where John Marsden is. Here's another, I think, yeah, another role player, 81, 24, Jesus, minus, so, yeah, oh, the way they made, they made, oh, they made the playoffs, but they got their asses kicked, they got swept, lol. Um, yeah, that just sucks, especially as he's a sniper, like, he playing fourth line, he's got second power play, which is why he didn't completely suck for points, but dude, if he gets third, I don't know. If he just finds himself on a team and he gets thrown into, like, a second-line role, I bet you he would, like, explode. He'd start compounding stat growth and stuff. But, mm, yeah, I don't know. The top sixes and the top fours got absolutely freaking hosed in this franchise mode. All right. San Jose, we got two guys here. Watson, 91-24. 24 points minus six. Yeah, I think the shark. Yeah, the sharks actually missed the playoffs, which is a bit shocking. But Mason Watson is an absolute beast. Where's his penalties at? Yeah, still 39 penalty minutes. 
Even though with 99 discipline. He might fight a little bit, though. That is fair. Not a bad contract, honestly. Like, he is a shutdown guy, and I don't like playing shutdown guys that much, but, like, he's good. I've seen worse contracts. Ice Warrior, oof. That's a lot, but how's he doing? Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah, he got 72 co points, got paid, and he's like, fuck it. <laughs> 56, 20 goals. Of course, yeah, no uh, no playoffs this past season, but he's looks like he's playing the middle. He's the new Thornton, big boy. Aggressive as fuck, holy shit. And then, yeah, so only 38 penalty minutes. So, like, what's the difference in discipline? That's so weird. Wow. Yeah, top line, top power play, and only had 56 points. That's, huh. Leaves a bit to be desired there. St. Louis Blues, where Marner Mitch is at, 85. Yeah, I so say he's the only one that kind of didn't pan out because, well, he was stuck with, oh, man. I'm so, like, this sucks, but I, yeah, I, they made the playoffs. He had two points. Like, he's just not getting, they put him on the fourth line. Good Lord. Oh my goodness, I can't believe that. Ugh. That is nuts. Look at this team. Their best defenseman's an 84. And these are like all playmakers too, jeez. Rip. Like, <laughs> yeah. His value's getting low enough we might be able to save him, but like, yeah. Is it too late? Good gracious. Yeah. Ugh. I'm not I'm not in the business of helping AI teams right now. Like we're we're trying to win the cup here. Alright. The caps here where we got Jelly 84. So he okay, finally. Uh like a high four who kind of became what they should have been. It should he still should be at like 85, but whatever. Jelly minus 14 and yeah, no, zero playoffs, but he's been in the NHL for three years. Horrible season last season, but yeah, pretty pretty decent in this last one. Again, a guy with a good brain, but he can't move the fucking puck like at all. Can't even skate. Holy shit! <laughs> what does Jelly do? His shot got good. His like defense is really good. He's aggressive. Good discipline. Was playing top pairing in penalty kill. Wow. Okay. Interesting. And also Matt Walsh is here, 81, 25. Pretty sure, yeah, another grinder. 35 points. Not bad. Where the hell did he play? Not very offensive at all. Only 83s, but solid defense and incredibly physical. Where did he play? Penalty kill, three-man penalty. Okay, obviously he would have had a line. We just don't know where. With those numbers, I'm kind of assuming it's third. I have to assume that's third line. No. Yeah. Kind of has to be third line. All right. So that is that for all the members who are not in our organization. Oh, wait. I totally forgot to. Uh, yeah. Since we, we traded his ass. Hold on. <laughs> I totally forgot. Uh, we got to check on Fox now. I got to add him to the list. Not that one. Fuck off, dude. Finally. He's like, no, I'll, I'll, I'll be good now. I'll be good now. There he is. 43 points plus 13. It's all right. He's only 84. I got no. I got. I still have no use for an 84 overall OFD. But maybe the Rangers do. It is not too bad. I mean, that's how the hell. Like, where he? Where was he playing? Okay, yeah. So they just throw him on the top pairing. <laughs> they just do him on the top pairing with the other OFD, and they're like, do good. And now that contract's actually. Actually, that's actually not a horrible contract. Yeah, I got him to. Because I, I know I didn't get him to that contract. So yeah, he's playing with uh, the real Fox. O overrated Fox. Made the playoffs four points in six games, minus one. All right. Let me actually add him to the list right here, or else I'm going to forget. All right, there we go. Okay, so now we could get into the draft here. So we got 30... And 40 somethings, I think. Well, they could grab one of those top sixes here. 60 and the 86 are the main things that we don't want to lose here. 
in this grouping because we should be able to get the other two. 47. Ooh, that's actually right on it. Ooh, I might actually just want to go in order here. It's 47, 62. Our, ne our two other two picks are 47 and, and 60, right? Yeah. Oof. We, have, we can get that with the 77, but... Mm. This kind of puts a damper on uh, going for one of these top sixes here. I could probably, man like, maneuver and make this worse. I just want to, is there anything, in, like, really, really good right here that I really, really want? Probably not. Not really. Like, I don't need anything. 23. Yeah, that's terrible. With a gem. See, these guys are younger and same ETA. Like, two-year ETA, you can get a nice defenseman. Meh. Like, is that even... Who cares? Like, yeah, I don't know. Might just go in order here. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm leaning toward is just picking, picking the guys and just yeah, like not worrying about. Yeah, I can. I, yeah, with that 77, I can. I can look for some like blind picks around that area. Yeah, we could take some blind picks. I like the gem there. Oh, wait, he's a low. I thought that was a medium. Like, right there, that's kind of interesting. Then there's also a guaranteed top four right here. Five-year ETA, sure, but, like, that's... Yeah, there's... I think we just go in order here. I'm not going to bother. There's... Yeah, there's enough good stuff where I think blind picking at certain ranges could be pretty good. So I'm just going to go in order here. So we'll get the guy, uh, Vyacheslav Morasov. Yep. Snag him first. 60 overall. Not the greatest low lead, but he was like the last possible one you could get. So yeah. So we'll snag him with our first. We're not going to worry about those last two picks. I don't care enough. Up to the 47 now. Um, any other low elites here? I don't think so, no. Top fours, top six is nothing really special. So we'll snag now. They got 60. Yeah, we're gonna grab it. Victor Breelin. Winger, playmaker, two-year ETA. Crazy. Insane value on that guy. 71 overall, medium elite in the second round. Yeah, he's 19. Even if he turns 20, he's on pace to make the NHL. Sick. Love that pick. And up to the 62, where we're going to get yet another medium elite. Auto Scout kicked some ass here, man. Uh, Yeah, 86 now. I'll grab Semen. And then I can still probably grab these two or choose one of them. Anyway, let's grab Gustav Salmon, same thing. DFD, to your ETA. Snag him, 70 overall. See how he's built. Bit lower on the awareness, but look at the shot blocking, stick checking. He's actually got good passing for a DFD, wow. Uh, I didn't really check the other guy's build, I should do that. Or did I? I can't remember, I don't think I did actually. Ooh, wow, that's a real good build. Awareness and passing are even. Not a great skater, but hey, that's not bad at all. Wow. Okay, we got the 77 now. It's going to be a bit tight. We might have to make some choices here. Let's see. We got 96, 94, 77, and oh wait, yeah, I have to trade at least one pick away. I have to remember that. Ninety four is tricky. Seventy seven ninety four. What were the two? Ninety Crap. <laughs> Remembering all these numbers is hard. Ninety four and ninety six. Theoretically we can get this guy. I think yeah, we should be able to get him with the ninety four. We can swing for the fences on Powell. I'm hoping he's a medium elite. That's why I've got him pinned like that. And then we could grab Lowry with the ninety four. It's still risky, but whatever. If we miss him, it's a top four with five-year ETA. It's not the end of the world. 
and I don't care enough to, to trade for it, honestly. I really don't. Like, with the value we've already got in this draft, this is all, this is all bonus. Like, this is, we, we have a stupid amount of value. Like, we can't even spend all this value. Legitimately cannot spend all this value. I'm going to trade one of the fives, I think. Well, no, I got, oh, crap. I know I got to trade one pick anyway. Let's grab Howell here. Hope for the best. Come on, come on, come on, come on, do it. Ah, no. Kind of thought it would either be a hit or miss there, but hit the miss. Uh, the other guy did not go whatsoever. Cool. And anything else go before him? Not really. Nope. Not at all. Okay. And we can get the uh, guaranteed top four now. So we got insane amount of value and we're not even done. Let's snag Lowry now. Areas 50, top four. But I, oh, no, he is 18. Yeah. So there you go. Potential future top six depth guy. That's pretty much it. All right, so we got the 109. All right, hold on, hold on. Let me see what see what the guys or see what guys we have left, and then line up the. Okay, so 130. Wait a sec. I thought I had someone else at 200 something. Didn't I? Wait a sec. I had someone else at like 200 something, didn't I? Maybe not. I totally thought I had another guy at like 233. Maybe I was looking. Huh. Huh. Didn't I thought I had two guys in the 200s? I could have swore I had two guys in the 200s, but I must have been mistaken. I... Yeah, one of them was a... Hold on. Hold hold the fuck on. What? Okay, yeah, there's the goalie. I really only had one? I could have swore I had another one. Alright, anyway, 206. I should, my last pick should be well after that, so I can just trade away a 7. Huh. I'm, I'm freaking out, but whatever. Yeah, I'll trade away the 7. I'm going to flip it for probably another 7. I don't know, maybe not. I don't even know. I'm just I'm just doing this. We're basically Yeah, it <laughs> doesn't matter. So we got rid of that pick. We now are only gonna draft with nine total picks. So 109, we're just gonna probably grab that guy. And yeah, we're not seeing anything cool. Because he's at 133, and my next pick is gonna be after this, because we don't have any multiples, do we? Oh no, I do! Alright, so I can't take a blind pick. I forgot I did have two fours. In addition to two threes. So we could take a blind pick here. Alright, no less than a guarantee on that guy. In fact, I'm pretty sure we're not going to find much of anything here. Whoa, that was a high goaltender. Could be high fringe. Probably is high fringe. But it could also be high starter. It's not going to be much value though, even for a high starter. So I don't care. I'm going to go for this guy, I think. Hmm. Wait, age. Four year chain, no. Two year. Oh, yeah, this guy. This guy's 100% elite. This guy's 100% low elite. Dexter. Yep. 70 overall. Two year ETA. 19. DFD. Oh, my God. Oh, we're absolutely destroying this draft. All auto scout, by the way. All auto so he was a high fringe. More fringe starters popping up. And now we will snag the guy at 133. Which is uh greening here. Leadership, three year ETA, low elite at 18. Boom, 66 DFD. Good god. <laughs> And 158, I'll probably just grab my guy. And then just blind pick with the rest. Yeah, I'm just going to grab our guy here. I'm not going to risk it, even though we know he's not going to be anything else. There he is. Medium elite goaltender, 57, 19. Not amazing by any means, but it's a little bit of extra trade value. Way better than a fifth rounder. 
And at this point, we're going to look for low elites here. There's one. Uh, Tommy Berry. So five year ETA at 18. Ugh. Five year ETA at 19. That doesn't tell me much. I feel like I was looking at like one of those guys. I could be wrong though. All right. None of them. None of them. Come on. Give me some here. 19. Shit. Going for it because he's a possible grinder, I think. Hold on, though. All right, let's go for the 19-year-old because that might be slightly better odds. Ah! He was a grinder, but top nine. And that's it. Okay, that's all right. Well, we freaking hit the gold mine on this draft anyway. <laughs> I don't even care what's in the rest of the draft. I kicked, I kicked, I kicked ass. Three, six, nine. Yeah, nine. Okay, good. Oof. All solid. No cheating. All right, up we go. Uh, uh, yeah, we're, you you damn well. You know damn well we're keeping all our scouts after that. <laughs> they earned their paychecks that draft, that's for damn sure. I, bl I got one solid blind pick, though. That that one guy we were taking a look at. That two-year ETA guy's like, oh, that's 100% going to be low elite. Boom. All right, into the resign phase we go, and this is going to be a bit tricky, obviously, because we're going to have to get some guys. Someone said I should maybe keep Domi for one more year. I am very scared of his decline. He lost morale growth when he got down here. He probably is going to maintain with stack growth, but he's also 30 freaking six. He did tremendous in the playoffs. Don't get me wrong. I loved him in the playoffs, but I do really, really worry about him switching to top nine and then just completely sinking. I really do worry about that, and I, I feel like it's going to happen. He's 36. Yeah, like he's 36, man. I don't know. It could not happen, but I think it's better for us. We have the value. We might as well continue to trade for rentals like him. I, I really think that's the best bet. We have so much fucking value. Anyway, Becky Lunch is probably going to need some kind of a bridge. Yeah. Uh, let's tender, actually. Let's see if we can play some hardball. And also, he might accept 4.2 for a year. Uh, Kolars needs to get signed. We're still lining. We can let go of. Yeah, and that, yeah, that, yeah. Oh, we have to let go of him. We picked him up for a trade. Let's sign Kolars here. Keep uh, two goalies in the system right here. Marsh and Kolars. We have Webster. Two years to trade him. We'll see if we do. <laughs> or if I forget. Or just don't find a good trade. If we want that. We know. Expiring. Okay. Sharon Govich. Uh, he's done. I think he's, eh, like, he could be fine for the fourth line, but do we want him as a fourth liner? Would he like being a fourth liner? Actually, not a bad contract for a year. But we do only have 11 mil. Uh, Lozon, I feel like we should get rid of now at this point. Mm, even if he goes to top six, though, he won't decline that heavily. He is our captain. He does have the leader. You know what? I'm keeping Lozon, actually. He is our, he's our, he's actually, oh, fuck. What? Oh, because he's now listed as stuff. Bye-bye. Mm, Sorry. Can't do it. Can't do it. Uh, hello, Hilpert. Oh, there's that. Oh, there, yeah, that, that was that backup plan OFD. Cool. All right, you'll get to play in the AHL. <laughs> oh, was he already signed? Wait a sec. He, he must have been. What? Where did you play? What? I had you in the AHL. <laughs> I don't even remember. Because that's not Cone. I had two. Oh my god. I don't know. See, I forget. Um, I that's some interesting contract jump that it's showing. I'm gonna give him what he wants that one year at that price. Uh, Hanzik. Honestly, I do really like him as a fourth liner. And if he's cheap, ugh, starting to worry me here. It's qualifying for that price. Uh, back, who are these guys? Patterson. These guys are kind of AHL-ish guys, I'm assuming. Let's see, we got, yeah, we should have, I was going to say, yeah. All right, this guy can go. 
As can this guy, they're not going to do anything. I know he's a grinder and all, but 6320, he's not. Mm. <laughs> I don't think he's going to become anything, but I don't know. All right, well, Declan Mui is getting signed. Finn again off, 73-22 DFD. He's getting signed. These are all entry levels. Raquel's going to get signed. He's low elite. I don't care what he is. Uh, I'm going to let go of Beck and Patterson, I think. They're fine, but, like, yeah, they're done growing. And also Phillips at this point. Yeah. Yeah, get rid of him. We need to make space. All right, we're keeping around Maki. Two years, I like it. Gray. Mm. He's just a carry at this point. He's not anything special. Uh, I'm going to sign like. Because I can. All right, let's advance today. See if we'll get a good uh, rough calculation for our roster numbers. And I don't think anyone declined. So 41, two exemptions theoretically, but I don't think so. Because they were all 20, I thought. Uh, the question is, do we want Sharon Govich? I kind of do want to keep some... Yeah. Hmm. Man, okay. Um, we'll probably have to move Dickinson this year to free up space. In fact, yeah, we're gonna have to move Dickinson this year to free up space. So if we're thinking about what our, what we're gonna look like here, you know, we got the top six of Dubiel, Coggins, Sasquatch, Iginla, Celebrity Johnson, and these are actually some. Mm, I wonder if you start questioning whether or not you can play everyone up here. Yeah. Well, I think we'll start it off like that. Kern, coal of mine, and I think we got to move. It's pretty clear. Although, dude, it's starting to get like, man, do you replace? I don't think we replace a power forward with a sniper, though. I don't think that's a great idea. I like having power forwards. Honestly, we, we, could, we can still get Trey, like, Sacro. He had a horrific year. But, like, that's coming off of two 60-point seasons. You think this is a one-off, right? You would think. So that's our top six, what we have in place right now. Um, current cola mine, I think we're trading. We want to go a third line of Waffles, Iginla, and someone. And then a fourth line of like, I'm thinking it'll start with Hanzik. Do we want to, want to go Sharon Govich? Like, is he, do we consider him cheap enough? It's, nah, I don't know, man. For to, put, to play on the fourth line in this system, I don't know. But yeah, he could be third line, but mm, he also might decline heavier, further. He's fine for it. I like it. And he's older. But yeah, we're gonna we're transitioning to a more checking checking line. And maybe you know what? There could even be someone in free agency. I'm gonna let Sharon Govich go for now. I really am. We're gonna revamp that fourth line. Alright, some people are not happy with that, but it is what it is. All expiring. Okay, it's just tendered guys left. I'm just going to double check the coaches just in case I just, my eyes some, somehow missed something, but they did not. All right, up we go to free agency. Should get all those scouts. Indeed. Jesus, how many were there? Thank you. All right, we're done. Okay. 40 contracts excluding exemptions. Yeah, we got space and we're going to need it. Let's see here. So, Tholomew Plague. This is, yeah, he's he's coming in. He was playing top four, so no, he still wants ridiculous amounts. Fuck, dude. He's still, he's still RFA. This is why we did it. We're going to obviously hold off. Rasmus, holy shit. All right, sorry about that. Just had to retrieve a package at the door here. But yeah, Rasmus Anderson declining. Or is he demoral? Ah, I don't know. Like, he's still got... We obviously weren't going to extend him. That kind of jumps out at me, though. 
Did he lose stack? Like, I don't know. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see. He had... Eh, no, that shouldn't have been stack growth. It might be a bit of morale, but it might be also some decline. Hmm. Uh, cur yeah. Mm, we don't really have any extensions. Because current and cola mine in our, our trade bait. Yeah. Because <sighs> Joe Aginla, he's not done, right? Like, he shouldn't be. Damn well shouldn't be done. And the other guys would still have to earn X Factors. Yeah, I'd rather... Yeah, he's 2285. Joe is 80, you know, 2286. Incredible contract. Theoretically, though, you, you can get incredible contracts for these two as well, but eh, we're not worried about that. I, I think we want to keep pushing with the lineup we have. Dickinson, I think we got to move on from. He doesn't want the contract. He's capped out around this. He's been playing top six. He's, yeah, we should just go. Yeah. Go with what we have. Korchinski play, Yurchek, Anderson. We're going to have to. Maybe, I, you know what? Maybe I tried multiple OFDs. If we're, if we're only going to, you know, may, maybe Cone. Maybe. We can try it. We can be. We can go a little crazy. But I think we're gonna want to move for another like right defenseman. I really do. Dickinson can be part of that deal. Clark. Yeah, we gotta wait on Becky there. So, okay, yeah, no real extensions to do right now. Well, I'll take a look. Free agency is going to kind of dictate a lot. There might be that incredible winger playmaker for us. Uh, <laughs> he's a two-way. And uh, Brindley's tendered. Max Domi's back. Again, I still worry after the reset that he turns into top nine. But again, we could still grab him. We have the cap. And if he declines too heavy, we could turn him in the depth. We we have the money to do that. So I'll leave that up to you guys. Should we get Domi back? Should we should we just get Domi back and, and risk the potential of him, you know, declining? And then we can still, you know, grab something. Because if we do that, then we can then we can throw uh, uh, what's his name? God damn it. <laughs> Trey. Trey could be a, a whole third liner. Then we won't need to grab anything. We'd have a grinder two-way forward, power forward third line. That's kind of neat. So I'll leave that up to you guys. And then, of course, like I said, we can... We can always turn Domi into a depth piece if he declines throughout the course of this year. If we want to, right? We could pick up another good good veteran playmaking rental. Because I think I want to do those lines that we had. Um, I think if we have Sasquatch on the top line, it's just too much of an overload of talent. I think we got to have duos. I think we got to go duos, especially if our overalls are kind of not... If we're, you know, we kind of have two tiers, right? 90 plus tier and then mid 80s right now. Yeah. You know, we don't have any of those high 80s, so it's got to be Dubiel, Coggins, not Sasquatch. We're going to have to throw Celebrity in there. Go back to that old AHL line that killed it and won a championship together. And then Sasquatch, Iginla, and then, yeah, of course, you don't want two power forwards. So, I, yeah, I guess we do it for the whole year. Get Domi back. And then if he declines, turn him into a depth piece. We'll have to spend maybe a bit more on him now. And also we have to worry about... <sighs> Becky lunch. Hopefully no one offers. I'm kind of hoping to play hardball with Becky. I'm not trading. I'm not trading uh, Everett until we know for sure. I think I think you guys will agree with me on that one. We're not going to move on from Ed Everett till we know for sure. We can lock Becky into some kind of an okayish deal, but it's getting nerve wracking here. It's going to be a lot, a lot of money. Speaking of which. Let's actually see what goalies are available. 
Because that's another thing. Oh, we might have to trade for like an 83. Really, really, really good backup. Oh, what about Hellebuck, though? A veteran backup. Oh, man. Fuck. We can do all of this because we're going to move on from some cap, namely Dickinson. Which means we're going to have to get another top six right defenseman. That should be easily doable. That being said, there's a lot of expensive ones here. But then not so expensive ones. I really liked Muse until I discovered that he was a freaking OFD. Oh my god, he's actually really good. But I don't, OFDs in the top six are fucking useless. Can we actually sort by these now? Yeah, okay, cool. Or there was a time where you weren't able to sort by this, wasn't there? All of them OFDs, by the way. Yeah, you can see the expense goes up when they're not... Then, well, then you have Jet Wu right here. It's real cheap. And looks good enough. 84, 87, 87. He's not, like, incredible. I was really looking for that 80 overall, but... Yeah. You know. There's options. Not all of them are cheap. But we'll see. We'll have to move on from some uh, cap and stuff like that. So you guys, give me some ideas about what we should do here in free agency. Do you like that idea of grabbing Domi back? And then if he declines, we can grab another rental. I don't know, yeah. But uh, it's going to get a bit tight with some of the cap. Yeah. So let me know what you guys think. Hit that like button. I'll see you in the next one.